There's a lion in my cornflakes. Written by Michelle Robinson. Illustrated by Jim Field. If you ever see this on a box of cornflakes, ignore it. I'll tell you what happened when we didn't. My brother, Dan, and I made a million trips to the supermarket and spent a whole year's allowance on cereal. It took us a long time to cut out all the coupons. Mom was so mad she made us eat cornflakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She said we'd have nothing but cornflakes until they were all gone. That could take forever! And she said we wouldn't get any allowance until we'd eaten up every last boring cornflake. But we didn't mind. We really wanted a free lion. We could take it for walks, ride it to school, and use it to open tin cans. But everyone else had the same idea. Thank you. We waited and waited for our free lion to arrive. But there was no lion on Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday. Thursday, no lion. Friday, no lion. Saturday, still no lion. Even worse, by the time Sunday came, everyone else had theirs. How unfair is that? Then on Monday, a delivery truck arrived. We were so excited, but one, it wasn't a lion, two, they sent it next door by mistake, and three, it went crazy in Mr. Harper's backyard. It wasn't our fault, but mom went bonkers. She made us apologize to Mr. Harper and clean up. It was awful. We had a grizzly bear, a grumpy mom, and absolutely no free lion. We wrote to the cereal people and complained. They wrote back. Dear Eric and Dan, sorry about the grizzly bear, but we ran out of lions. Please accept this crocodile instead. Sincerely, Mr. Flaky. P.S. Handle with care. A crocodile? Dan said. We didn't eat all those cornflakes for a cranky old crocodile. And guess what? The crocodile spent all its time in the bathroom so no one else could get in. Dad went nuts. He made us scrub the bathtub while he called the cereal people. Sorry, they said. We'll sort it out right away. We asked for a lion. Not a grizzly bear, not a bathroom hogging crocodile, and definitely not a great big gorilla. That's exactly what we got. It really liked Dad's car. No! He was not impressed. That's it, he fumed. Everyone in. I'm going to give those cereal people a piece of my mind. The cereal people said sorry again, but they really had run out of lions. They said that we could keep the great big gorilla, the bathroom hogging crocodile, and the very grizzly bear. They also gave us a lifetime supply of cornflakes. Finally, Dad was happy. But mom wasn't, and we certainly weren't. You can't take a box of cornflakes for a walk. Come on, cornflakes. Cornflakes won't get you to school in style. Can cornflakes help you open a can of tomatoes? No way! But... A crocodile is the meanest can opening machine I've ever seen. A grizzly bear can walk for miles and miles and miles. And there isn't a better way to arrive at school than this. 
So don't ever bother saving up for a lion. It's not worth the trouble. And besides, everyone's got one. But a free tiger? Just imagine.